Hey, you're looking good this morning. This is Frank in the Brazil Times newsroom. Well, this is what we're looking at for uh, weather conditions. Tonight, starting at 7 o'clock, they're saying. You know how those timetables go. Uh, until uh, uh, 1 o'clock, I believe it is. On uh, Well, anyway, we're going to be getting us ice. That's what the National Weather Service says. Probably for this part of Indiana, just a glaze of ice coming in tonight and uh, making roads very slippery tomorrow. So if you have to be out and about tomorrow morning, be careful. It's also possible we could have ice again Saturday night into Sunday morning. So watch the weather forecast. You can get to that on our website, by the way, by going under the menu on the left side of the top of the screen at www.thebraziltimes.com. Now, just be thankful we're not getting the heavy ice that they're expecting west of us. But uh, at any rate, for us, uh, it's supposed to be a glaze of ice over everything. So that's going to make roads very slick if that happens. In today's edition of the Brazil Times, the County Sheriff's Department is asking for your help in locating a suspect who was involved in a road, ra road rage incident that happened uh, Wednesday about 2 p.m. at the Country Junction and that's down at the corner of 46 and 59 near Bowling Green. Apparently uh, the suspect uh, caused moderate bodily injury to an unidentified male outside a convenience store gas station there and uh, there's a picture in today's edition of the Brazil Times and online of the car that they're looking for. Okay that winter weather advisory we told you about, that uh, spans from 7 p.m. today to 1 p.m. Saturday. And uh, also, as I said, we can uh, have some ice on uh, Sunday morning as well. Animal cruelty took center stage at uh, the city council meeting on Wednesday night. What is animal cruelty and what can a city do about it? Those are the questions the Brazil City Council is considering. Shannon Wilmore, the Clay County Court Appointed Special Advocates Director, presented a 14-page proposal to the council Wednesday night. She's urging the council to change the city code to better protect animals, particularly dogs. And as a result of that, the city council is going to have a work session on January 25th at 5 p.m. in the City Council Chambers in City Hall. And the public is invited. No decisions will be made at that meeting because by law in a work session, they cannot vote to take any action. But it will be a time for uh, discussion and uh, to learn more about the situation. We also have the second part and conclusion of uh, the two-part uh, story that uh, we wrote and was published in uh, Wednesday's edition about Jim Rhodes, the uh, Clay County artist who uh, painted the uh, uh, scene of Brazil's depot for uh, the city sesquicentennial. And uh, we're told that uh, people are starting to inquire about prints of that painting, and those will be available this winter at uh, Lynn's Pharmacy. and. Uh, when the museum reopens in the spring, they'll be available there too. There's, it's a limited edition print, $50 for each one. There's only going to be 100 of the signed and numbered prints available. They'll also have full color postcards of the print and of the uh, pa painting and uh, perhaps smaller uh, prints available at a later time. But we also have in today's edition a, a picture of uh, a postcard that uh, Mr. Rhodes uh, painted. This is a, a painting of the Denver and Rio Grande Western train number five called the Exposition Flyers. It worked west through South Boulder Canyon near Pine Cliff, Colorado. And uh, uh, Mr. Rhodes and I had a great time because uh, my family is filled with railroaders and uh, he grew up next to the tracks and his grandfather was a railroader and uh, so we had a lot to share, including the fact that we both had uh, railroad watches. If you don't know what those are, those were specially made pocket watches. And uh, as he said, jewelers who sold those watches uh, had to be certified to be able to do that. 
Okay, and I'm not even going to pronounce this next headline. It says, are you feeling unlucky today? Well, you might have Figatriscadelphia or something like that. But at any rate, uh, you can read about that in today's edition of uh, the Brazil Times as well. I also want to remind you that while we publish 24-7 here on the Internet, the printed paper edition of the Brazil Times will not publish this coming Monday, January 16, due to Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And uh, the reason we're not publishing is because simply the uh, post office doesn't deliver on that day. Okay, so looking inside, we have a story about Senator John Ford, who is announcing uh, bills that he is introducing in the 27 legislative session. He wants to include putting a gaming facility in Terre Haute. So you can see what he has to say about that. In sports, Cook and Hendrick celebrated senior night with a win, and uh, they are wrestlers for the Northview Knights. They won a 40-36 victory over West Vigo Wednesday evening as both Jacob Hendrick and Austin Cook were recognized for their careers. The dual meet victory also gave Northview head coach Dan Mikesell career win number 199. And our sports editor, Kerry Fox, has more about that in today's edition of the Brazil Times. Always want to remind you we have... Uh, TV guides, TV listings in our paper each day. And uh, so if you want to know what's going on on TV, pick up the printed edition of the Brazil Times and you have the grid in there that has all the uh, cable listings uh, that you can get. So at any rate, that's what's on in the paper today. And uh, we are continually updating our stories online at www.thebraziltimes.com. Last night I attended another uh, workshop, planning workshop, and uh, we'll have a report about that. There were more than 22 people there last night, and they were all interested in thinking about the future of Brazil and what we can do to make Brazil more attractive and uh, a better place to live, even though many of us think Brazil is a pretty good place to live right now, and I, I count myself in, in uh, that number. So, hope you have a great day. Good to see you. Look forward to seeing you later. If you have to be out tonight or if you have to be out tomorrow morning, be extremely careful. We might be getting that uh, glaze of ice the National Weather Service is talking about. We'll see you later.